Salamun alaykum. We're reading about the life of our Prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to make our iman shiny. Before we continue, allow me to read again from the book Ethics of Islam. Allah Ta'ala is in need, is not in need of any of the worships of his creatures. Transgressions of his creatures will by no mean harm him. He commanded these aforementioned things in order to tame the nafs and in order to make a struggle against the nafs. Let us continue. Rasulullah said that to have Iman is to believe in his six certain facts. First of all, to believe in Allah Ta'ala, in his angels, in the books revealed by him, in his prophets, in the last day, in Qadar, destiny, that khayr, good, and shar, evil, are from Allah Ta'ala. That person said again, you told the truth, and confirmed this answer. Then he asked again, O oh, Rasulullah, tell me now what Isan is. Our Master Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, to worship Allah Ta'ala as if one sees him. He always sees you, although you do not see him. That person asked again, O oh, Rasulullah, tell me about the last day. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said about this question, the asked person does not know more than the questioner. That person said, so tell me the indications of the last day. Our master, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the jariyas giving birth to their masters, you're seeing barefoot, unclothed, and poor shepherders getting rich and competing against each other to build high buildings. After this, that person returned Turning towards me, Rasulullah sallallahu asked, O oh, Umar, do you know that person who asked the questions? I said, Allah Ta'ala and his Rasul know better. Then Rasulullah said, he was Jibril, Gabriel alayhi wa salam. He came to teach you your religion. Our beloved prophet would explain the things to his companions according to their level in religion. One day, Umar radiallahu an saw Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa salam saying something to Hadrat Abu Bakr as he passed them by. He went near them and listened. Others also saw them, yet they hesitated to go and listen. The following day, when they saw Hadrat Umar, they said to him, O oh Umar, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was telling you something yesterday. Tell us so that we can know what he was telling you. He, the Prophet, also used to say, Tell your brothers in Islam what you hear from me. Let one another know. Hadrat Umar said, Yesterday, Abu Bakr, Rajulullah An, had asked him about the meaning of an ayat which he couldn't understand, and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was explaining it to him. I listened for an hour, but I could not understand anything. He was explaining everything according to the high grade of Hazrat Abu Bakr. Hadrat Umar was so great that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I am the last prophet. No prophet will succeed me. If there were a prophet to succeed me, Umar would be that prophet. Though he was so great and knew his mother tongue Arabic very well, he was not able to understand even the explanation of the Quran al-Kirim that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam communicated to Hadrat Abu Bakr. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to explain it according to the degree of the person. The degree of Abu Bakr was much higher than Hadrat Umar's. But he too and even Hadrat Jabil used to ask Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about the meaning, about the mysteries in the Quran. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explicated interpretations of the whole Quran to the Ashab Kiram. Our beloved Prophet, while teaching the religion to his companions, he also heard cases, listened to witnesses, and solved the most difficult disagreements. Wa alaykum salam.